All right, the Pro Tools 11.0.2 update has been released. 11.02 contains quite a few bug fixes and some additions. A big addition for many people will be that the Time Compression Expansion AAX plugin is included with Pro Tools 11.0.2, and I don't think it's mentioned in the README, but the Aphex Exciter and Big Bottom are now AAX, and you'll need to be on Pro Tools 11.0.2, and Xform is also now AAX, and again, you'll need to be on Pro Tools 11.0.2 in order to get those to work. The bug fix I'm most excited about would be that 11 rack rigs can now be loaded from Pro Tools. Now this is not an on-screen editor, but we were having problems in Pro Tools 11.0 and 11.01 where we couldn't load the rigs from our computer to the 11 rack unless the session was opened up in Pro Tools 10 first and then closed down and then opened in Pro Tools 11. It was just a bug and now that bug has been fixed. So what do you say we install the Pro Tools 11.0.2 update? And I've done installations both ways. I've just installed directly over what I already had, and I've also done it the Avid approved way, which is what we'll do this time. So first we'll uninstall Pro Tools 11.0.1, and then install the 11.0.2 update. So I'll go to Programs and Features in Control Panel, and I'll choose Pro Tools 11. Now I also have Pro Tools 10.3.7 installed on here. You do not need to uninstall your Pro Tools 10, your co-install, just uninstall your Pro Tools 11 version. So we'll make sure we have 11 shows. We'll click on change here. This is saying 11.0.0, but it's actually 11.0.1. And we'll go to remove, and I'll just remove everything. And remove. And the video will speed through the uninstallation process. Pro Tools 11.0.1 has now been uninstalled, so we'll click finish. And now I'm going to restart my system and then we'll install Pro Tools 11.0.2 and check it out. Okay, we've uninstalled Pro Tools 11.0.1 and we've restarted our system. Now we're going to install Pro Tools 11.0.2. So we can just double click on the setup and choose install Pro Tools. I already have my drivers installed for my 11 rack. I'll just click next, let's do standard and install. And I'll just speed through this installation process for the video. Okay, Pro Tools 11.0.2 is installed. Now I'm going to go ahead and restart my system and we'll launch it when we get back. Now the computer has been restarted. We've installed Pro Tools 11.0.2. So let's go ahead and launch it and make sure it's working properly. So 11.0.2 is coming up fine. We'll go ahead and open a session here. All right, that's coming up fine. Operation looks okay. We'll check our Avid plugins here, make sure we have those. There they are. And now we'll check to see if we can load 11 rack rigs from our computer to the 11 rack. So we'll come up here and we'll just start with load from computer, choose a rig, and there we go, pretty cool. So that seems to be working. Let's go ahead and try load all rigs from computer. And I'll just choose this oranges pack two, load those up. All right, cool. So load from computer is now working properly here in Pro Tools 11.0.2. Now I'll just record a short section to make sure we're still getting our embedded rigs, our 11 rack. All right, and I can right click this, load that setting. You can also load rig settings from the clip bin or right from our mini window here. All right, so that's Pro Tools 11.0.2 working here on my system with an 11 rack on Windows 8 Pro 64 bit. If you have Pro Tools 11, be sure to log into your Avid account to download the 11.0.2 update. If you would like to try Pro Tools, there is a free 30 day trial available. You'll need an iLock version 2 for that. And I'll be sure to put the link to that in the description. Of course, to learn more about Pro Tools, Media Composer, and all of the great products that Avid makes, you can go to avid.com.